This is flight number 223, special flight. Okay, we're gonna take off. Pluto is right here. We're gonna make sure we're on time, right to this point. Basically, we have three objectives. The first is to observe Pluto occulting a star. We should be able to get a pressure and temperature profile for Pluto's atmosphere, which is particularly interesting right now because we can directly compare it to the one derived from New Horizons, and that'll let us calibrate all of the observations we've been making for 20 years. And secondly, if we can do this occultation in multiple wavelengths simultaneously, we will be um, sensitive to particle dust haze in the atmosphere in a way that we're not in any single wavelength. And finally, the biggest objective is if we can hit the center point of the shadow within, say, 75 kilometers, then we can get an actual global view around the entire planet. Tonight we're planning on observing the Pluto occultation over the South Pacific. We have a very finite amount of time to catch the shadow as it streaks across the Earth. Let's go do it. Let's go. We started this process at MIT for this particular event about three years ago. Basically, you just have to spend a lot of time observing both Pluto and the star. As Pluto moves across the sky, we're constantly updating its ephemeris. Each night, we measure it, we measure its position, see which direction it's moving, and project that ahead until it intersects with the star. Simultaneously, we're measuring where the star is, trying to firm up the coordinate system of the other stars around it, so we can get a very careful measurement of how closely they will intersect, and more importantly, from where on the Earth we'll be able to see that occultation. SOFIA is the only observatory that can actually get to the center of the shadow as the center line is going to be over the ocean. And um, now we're here to actually observe the occultation and see what we can learn about Pluto's atmosphere. And coming up on five minutes, uh, pilot's gonna be a left-hand turn to 253. Update.txt, print that one. This particular mission looms large in importance because of the synergy with New Horizons. What I've been doing tonight is receiving updates on Pluto's position relative to the stars. I received that update first as a very simple text message that uh, the center line of the shadow had moved north by 227 kilometers. The good people upstairs were able to adjust these legs going back and forth, kind of like a trombone, so that we wound up at the right place at the right time. So we're going to do it. Keep it just the same. All right. But now that we shift it up and over, and then there, there, then up here, then down. Okay. All right? Yeah, that's, that's good. There it is. Okay. My colleague Karina over at the other console is closely monitoring where the plane is compared to where it's supposed to be crossing this shadow path. Two minutes, crew. One degree left. One left. How's our cross elevation looking? Good. Right Good. in the center. Ah. 52. It's just, it's, it's not going down. down. I think yeah, it's, it's going, going down. down. It's yeah. down. Oh. Nice. That's oh, so cool. Man. I'm starting to see it. They're <laughs> right on top of each other. It's just about right on. Oh, it's coming back. There yeah. it comes. Yeah. Oh, yep, oh, yeah, I yeah. see it. Yeah. That is All right. so bizarre. That's probably close to 90 <laughs> seconds. So, yeah. awesome. yeah. so they may have really gotten right in the middle. So this craft is a um, signal well, over time right plot. Now. We see the signal oh, of the occulting star oh, it's you're dithering. Uh, yeah. before Pluto is moving right in front of it. At this point, Pluto is moving in front of the star and the signal drops down. And here at the bottom of the curve, we see this central flash, which means that we were very close to the center line of the shadow. Everyone just jumped for joy when we actually saw that star occulted by Pluto. I think of Pluto as being kind of a, a small body, but we saw it and it was just amazing. One of the highlights of my career, I gotta say, working on this project.